with a CTV with Adam Hinchwood following a 1 0 win against Tunbridge Angels in National League South. Fantastic win. Adam, what were your thoughts on the game? That was a good win. Obviously, good to come away from home, keep a clean sheet. Um, you know, probably didn't have as much possession and, and, and good play maybe as what we did last week, but you know, there were still some good moments. I thought we got into our area and um, it was a bit wasteful first half of a couple of chances that we had. Um, they had some good chances as well, so I thought it was quite an even game. Um, I think we just done enough to win it, coming away from home and just edged it and obviously it's good to keep a clean sheet. That's the big thing with this win, it's sort of just edging it. They missed a penalty as well, they had a lot yep. of good chances, but we've still come away with the three points in the end. No, yeah, I think the lads not even down and the ref couldn't wait to give it again, one of them. Um, you know, uh, the, the linesman by us said it's never a penalty. Um, and just that inconsistency that you get. Um, so it's, yeah, uh, would have been very, very frustrating. Um, but, you know, maybe got a little bit of luck there um, at last um, going our way. But, yeah, just the inconsistency. I think if it's down the other end, it's not a penalty. But, yeah, he hasn't even hit the ground and he's give it. Um, couldn't wait to give it. So it just seems what we come up against, to be honest, uh, most weeks. So, yeah, we, all we can do is um, keep believing that those, those decisions, um, you know, throughout the course of the season, um, you know, even themselves out, like you're um, told by so many people. So, yeah, just keep on concentrating on us and what we can improve on. There's, there's a few aspects there. I thought their press was good at times and we've got to be brave to keep on playing and then we'll get 4v4 at the top end of the pitch. Um, and then we can create some problems, but um, no, yeah, all in all, um, again, another good away performance and delighted to, to come away with three points. Yeah, um, as you say, the main thing is we come away with the three points, a great following today as well, just a, a good worthing away day all round, a bit like last Saturday. That was, yeah, um, you know, probably doubled, if not tripled in numbers again from last week, um, but, you know, it's, uh, their fans were good as well. I thought both ends, you know, both sets of fans were, were going at it, and um, you know, it was a really good spectacle as well. It was a, it was a good game um, to witness, and um, yeah, just delighted that we edged it and, and come away with three points. And hopefully, you know, that kind of win there can, can give the boys a bit of confidence. Some of the play today as well, uh, one player coming in in particular, coming off the bench, Alfie Young, coming back to Worthing. Can you talk us through that? Yeah, um, no, he's. His first touch for us was a massive long clearance and he just plucked it out the sky and just said to him and all the boys that he's got to show a bit more calmness there in those situations if he's going to play for us. But I thought we slotted in excellently, to be honest. Um, you know, we have a lot of the possession, um, you know, 65% on average. Um, so with that, you need players that are comfortable on the ball and one thing you know that Alf is going to give you is that, is that calmness, uh, composure um, when, when we're on the ball and um, you know I thought we were doing the world of good um, to, to step into the game like he did. Um, I think we missed Kane for a couple of games now. Uh, seems to be the, the story of our season a little bit. Um, I think we get Nicky Wheeler back now and lose Kane. Um, so it's good to have, have some options and um, you know, we're going to need the squad to, to be together and it feels like they're coming together now. So, you know, when players are out the team, players got to be ready to step in and take their opportunity. I mentioned Alf Young coming on, Joe Rye came off. A bit uncharacteristic for him. He's had a bit of a limp. Yeah, it just, he um, said he felt his hamstrings just tighten up a little bit. So we're hoping that by bringing him off, it's nothing too sinister and we might be able to see him out there again on Tuesday. Tuesday might be too soon, but you know, it's just all our recovers really. Um, so yeah, we'll probably um, assess everybody uh, Sunday, Monday and uh, see what we can um, select ready to go on, on Tuesday. Uh, I think it sets up two, two home games um, brilliantly now, um, hoping that, you know, we can get a nice big following on a Tuesday night because uh, every game is massive for us now. Um, what we have down to 18 games now, is it left? Um, you know, two two games coming up at home, so we really need that that support um, to be with us at home as well. And you mentioned there the team's clicking as well. How are you feeling performance-wise going into Tuesday? Oh yeah, I thought it was another good performance. Um, like I say, it wasn't probably as free-flowing as what it was uh, at times last week. Um, but, you know, we're not always going to get that. But I think, um, you know, we do still create a lot of chances. Um, 
you know, getting the first goal when the game's quite cagey like this, um, it's not always been going our way. Um, and when we do that, we know teams are then got to open up a little bit and I always feel that we can then nick one on the counter-attack, maybe when teams come man for man a little bit and we're left, like say, 3v3, 4v4 at that top end. Um, you know, we've definitely got enough quality up there to, to hurt teams.